here's a very quick overview of just what we've done here with this uh, motor and bike. This is a car alternator. Uh, what I've done is I've taken off all of the uh, diodes and bits and pieces that make it a, an alternator and extended the wires out. Uh, these are the coil wires. Just extended these out and this has actually been connected in what we call star mode. Um, I've also extended out the armature wires, so which goes in here on, on brushes. So I put 12 volts on that from this little battery pack and that gives me 12 volts on the armature and that allows the thing to work as a motor. Um, to power the whole bike I've got two of these 5 ampere hour um, 5S batteries, LiPo batteries and they're given a total uh, together of between 36 and 41 volts. Um, to drive it all I'm using a, I can't see it very well, but this is a, um, a controller that I bought off eBay. It is a 800 watt 36 volt uh, e-bike controller, brushless um, with haul or without haul. That's important. It has to be able to drive a motor without Hall effect sensors because this doesn't have any Hall effect sensors. So that's important that you get a brushless motor uh, controller that will work with or without Hall effect sensors. The whole thing is driving the back wheel via this pulley. Sorry, that's not very good. Uh, through this pulley and down to this larger pulley which is been taken off a washing machine. Um, that pulley is held to this box via these two bits of wood. So these two bits of wood are sandwiched in the spokes and then this pulley is bolted to everything. So the whole thing is clamped tightly to this box uh, and that keeps everything nice and strong. Um, and that's it. There's a throttle twist grip here which controls the controller and makes everything go. And it goes very well. This will do up to 20 miles per hour and it'll last for about 15 minutes before the batteries run low. So if we wanted to make it go further, more batteries. Um, but there are issues with this whole setup. Uh, one of the biggest ones is the weight of this whole thing. It weighs probably in, the, in excess of 10 kilograms. So just for the motor and the, the mounting brackets and whatever. So it is quite heavy. And the other thing is when you're just cycling along without the motor, as you can see that doesn't spin very well. It's not very free. So there's a fair amount of uh, drag when you just try and cycle along by yourself. Uh, which means that when the, when the motor and the battery runs low, and you don't have motor assistance anymore, it's hard work. But it does work. It does. It didn't cost very much. It, uh, it's a lot of fun, I can assure you of that. So, next video will show you it going. And hopefully maybe get some of the, um, the current draw. It draws about 20 amps, 22 amps or thereabouts on full power. Um, so when you're cycling along, if you're on full power, it's drawing about 22 amps, so these batteries obviously don't last very long at that sort of current drain. But, like I say, it's a lot of fun.
The motor's warm, just done about uh, just under three miles. The motor is a bit warm, but I wouldn't say it's overly hot. The controller is mildly warm, you can barely feel any heat on it at all. So everything seems to be in control as far as temperatures and uh, the amount of power we're pulling is concerned. But it does squeal quite a bit. Uh, I'm sure we could tighten this belt a little bit more, but I think it's still going to be an issue. So this current uh, iteration or whatever of the e-bike, Valley Bros e-bike, is well, it's probably not going to stay like this for very long. I've actually ordered off eBay um, a hub motor, which would be going in there to replace this and this and all of this nonsense will all be disappearing and there'll be a hub motor going in there instead. So hopefully when we get that in, uh, we'll be able to uh, get a similar sort of performance but with a lot less weight and a lot less drag. But, as you can see from this video, this is a lot of fun. And probably a lot faster than the the uh, 36 volt hub motor will be. Anyway, that's the bike. As you can see, I haven't even bothered taking off the, uh, the cobwebs yet. This bike was lying in my shed for years. So, whenever we get it actually built properly to the way that I really want it to be then I'll clean it all up and who knows I might even sell it might even make a little bit of profit on it that would be nice make some profit get another bike do it all again hey might even make a business <laughs> nice idea but I doubt it somehow anyway that's my little e-bike um, lots and lots of ways I could improve it and tidy it up and make it better, but this was only ever, uh, it's only ever a project, something to play with for a while and uh, have a bit of fun with. Bye for now.